Hello and welcome to Yaogwai Gaming where today we're playing Red Dead Redemption 2. We'll be collecting some bounties, doing some missions and fighting some O'Driscolls. Well, so let's get right here. into it. Maybe this is our man. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment. But I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of... Sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. Hello and welcome to Yaogwai Gaming where we've just picked up our first bounty of Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't have my horse. Is that a problem? How far is it away? It's quite far. Where's my horse? That's a temporary horse. We could go and... Oh, Arthur's horse is just there. All right, I was going to say we could go re-steal the horse, but a bit of theft isn't necessary. Our own pony is happily within whistling distance. That's nice. That makes a nice change. Right. All right. So we have to get this guy and we have to take him alive. That means we'll want... We've got our lasso. Okay, we'll want our lasso. And we'll just keep our revolver. We might be able to... I want to know if we can shoot his gun out of his hand. How do we take someone alive if they're trying to shoot us? We could shoot his gun out of his hand. That is a potential possibility, but we'll have to see. First, let's make our way up to where he is. And then once we've found him, we can start trying to figure out the best way to approach him. Maybe a bit of stealth. Stealth could be a possibility. down this steep path here. He's not that far away. Give our horse a, a little biscuit. Oh, a carrot! Give our horse a carrot! Oh. Any game that lets me feed horse carrots to horses is just a brilliant game. Right, okay, so he's in this area. There. Let's get him. I mean, this is obviously him, isn't it? I should have just done it without. Got him! Oh! Oh! Don't got him! That's right. Just walk away, you coward. Hey, now look! Ha <laughs> Lord, please help me! Jeez. Okay now. Is this not the? This might not be the guy. Hold still. A tog tie him. I think I've kidnapped the wrong person. No, please. Go, darn damnation! 
Mm. Help! Help me! Who are you? Don't think you're my bounty. No. No, you're not. You're a random. Ooh, I'm. I'm sorry. Here, look. I'm gonna pick up your gun. How do I pick it up? No, 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 I don't want you to shoot me, you see, so I kind of want to pick up this gun. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to let you go. But you, you, you have to not... Shit for brains. You have to be, you have to be cool, okay? Alright, good. Okay, boy. Crisis averted. We... Yeah. We're fine, we're fine. Get our lasso back out. There, him. Another man. We'll kidnap the other man. Where are you going? Oh my lord! This on the line. I'm just gonna keep kidnapping people until I get the right one. Maybe this is the wrong way to approach this. I don't like being tied. Wait, is there someone up there? There's someone up there. Alright, I'm sorry. Let's see about this. Let's be friends, okay? I apologize. Don't be stupid! Uh, I'm gonna kill you! Son. I'm sorry. Look, I'm hunting a dangerous criminal. Boy. He's up there. The real one's up there. Yeah. All right, we'll we'll survey the yep. the terrain better next time. Can my horse not swim up river? Yeah. Not very well, no. Yep. Yep. Come on, come on, come on! Get up, get out of the room! Ah! Yep. You're getting flushed down river here. Yep. Uh, yep. I'm kind of stuck. Can my horse get out? Right, I'm getting off the horse. Come on, Arthur. Alright, my horse is fine at least. Right. We'll do it on foot, and then we'll summon the horse. We'll see if that works. See if the horse can make his way across the river by summoning him. Right, so we think he's up here. We're gonna go for our lasso. Lasso, lasso. It's this guy here. Oh, what we got here? Confront the bounty. So I can't just take him out. You Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kinda look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard of, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case... If it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... No, don't, f don't fall off the cliff. Mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. I forgot to. Hold on. I'm 
Get him over. Come on! I don't want to let my money drop. Oh, you saved me! Now come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Or oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me now. <laughs> Very confused, Arthur. Please, I'll take my chance. Come here, uh, bye, friend. <sighs> really do not like you. <laughs> so we have to chase the idiot now. Let's get him before he drowns. I'm assuming we can lasso him out of the river. If we're quick enough. Shit. I got across. Oh, oh, oh. Come on! I need to get in front of him. Don't you dare drown! Not fast enough. Oh, I think I fucked up there going in the water. I have a good, like, I have a feeling that he can die here if I fail, so. I'm kind of, I'm actually really worried. If this was any other game, I would think it was scripted and he couldn't die, but I'm pretty sure he can die. Come here. Come here. There we go. Oh, yeah, drag him up. Upside down, that'll work. Gotcha, man. Pull him out of the water, maybe, Arthur. Yeah, pull him out of the water first and then hog tie him. There we go. I'm only in it for the money. That's even worse. I'm sure it does seem that way. <laughs> Can I loot him as well? Is that? Let's see if that reduces my uh, karma, my honor. This is uh, very kind of you. No, it doesn't. Nice. <gasps> if we put him on the back of the horse, can we just take him back to the sheriff now? On his horse? Can I keep his horse? It's a bit taller than my horse. My horse is a little bit small. Riding through deep water with a hogtied passenger will call them to fall and most likely drown. Is this deep enough to do that? No, okay, thank god. Right. So don't let your horse go swimming while you've got a hogtied passenger or they will drown. That makes perfect sense to be honest, doesn't it? Right, we're gonna ride back to town and... I think I must be suffering from exposure. Oh, we could just whack him to shut him up. Yep, we're gonna ride back to town now and turn him in. Let's see how much money we get for this. Was it? Did it say fifty dollars? I'm not gonna complain if we get fifty dollars. What if we don't hit him when prompted? Sir, I must warn you, my temperature is subnormal. I have medicine in my pocket. Pass it to me, please. Shut up. Hey, don't you drag me into this. You do seem to keep blacking out. out of the way. Right. We can remove him and give him to the sheriff. Let's see how much money we get. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. one this one I just here yeah. oh just here yeah. oh, there's been some terrible mistake I never did it any of it I thought I told you to shut up partner but I told but you but nothing shut up and uh good luck it's been real fun you ain't much of a man you ask folks for forgiveness you remember this partner I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offering? Uh, 
Fifty dollars. Here. Thank you. Madam. Now please, remember what I told you. I feel like we walked in on something there with the sheriff and that woman, and I'm not sure what it was. What is this? You can begin more bounty missions from bounty posters around town. What was that bar that appeared? I don't know what that, like, that bar thing was, but... Do you have any more bounty posters in here? You really fixing oh, to intimidate me? No, it wasn't an... It wasn't... I wasn't trying to intimidate you, I just came through the door a bit quick. Calm the fuck down. Alright, there's no bounty posters here. Let's see if the gunsmith is here, because I did do a quick Google and found that there's a bug where sometimes he doesn't appear. There we go. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfield? Oh, wow. Is that the only thing I'm famous yep. for? People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Neither Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> anyway, how can I help you today? All right, what's the difference between a revolver and a pistol? Okay, that's that's a revolver. So if we go back, and then we click on revolvers. I don't understand the difference between a revolver and a pistol. Okay. Most explosive pistol ever produced. Okay, so this is a revolver. As in, it's a revolver. These pistols are pistols that don't have a revolving feature. Remarkable repeat firing system. Right, okay, so we're starting to get to the era of revolvers becoming obsolete. So the most expensive revolver is this, and it's currently locked. Which is kind of nice. I would like a, a better pistol at some point. All of these seem locked at the moment. I don't understand why. Accessories? What accessories have we got? Increases uh, capacity. Arrows. Holster. Slows degradation for weapons. Gun oil, gun belt. Alright, a lot of cool stuff. But most of the really good stuff seems locked for now, so we'll have to come back here later and have a look at what is on offer. But for now, let's make our way back to camp. Because there were a couple of missions back in camp. So let's head back and let's see what our little band of brothers wants from us this day. We've had a shave and a sleep. And it's now morning in the camp. We have Kieran and we have Leopold who would like stuff from us. So first, let's go speak to Leopold. Oh, apparently I'm using something wrong. I can put a waypoint down. There we go. Ah, that makes things much easier. Right, let's go talk to Leopold first. I get a gun out in camp. That's interesting. A decent amount of money now. Hopefully that'll keep growing as we keep progressing through the game, though. I, I'm still wary to donate or spend it, because I don't know if there's going to be something I need later on. But, Leopold. Hey, Morgan! Hey, Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. All right, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Oh, we just become a uh, loan shark. Or I suppose we're not the loan shark. Strauss is the loan shark. We're the fucking bailiff. That doesn't feel nice. Good morning. That's not good. I don't, I don't want to be collecting money off poor people. <laughs> Let's get on a horse. Can we just take any horse from the camp? Is that like a thing we can do? I 
it looks like it. Right, let's have a quick look on our map then. So, it looks like two of them are over here at Emerald Ranch. One of them is over here in the danger zone. That's an issue. Let's try this one first, just because it's by itself. And then we can go to Emerald Ranch after this. Yeah. Hopefully the journey to get there isn't too dangerous. But this one should be the most uh, the most dangerous of the three. Just because of the location it's in with the bounty on our head over there. A bit concerned about that, but... If we have to shoot our way out, we have to shoot our way out. It's not the end of the world if we have to. Oh, wow. So, where I used to live in Leeds before we moved down yep. to Cambridge was, uh, there was a, a nature reserve nearby uh, specifically for birds. It was a wetland reserve. And that just reminded me very strongly of going on dog walks in that place. Be filled with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Canadian geese at certain times of the year. It's an incredible place. Well, that's handy. No one has tried to turn up and shoot us for our bounty yet. I don't like being on this end of the bounty system. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. I'm sorry, I'm going to my God damn it. <laughs> English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. I'll I'm here for money. See if you we borrow can from communicate uh, with this German man. man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. There we go. Yeah. Bit of recollection so it's now. it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Przestań. Już nie mam siły. No, 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 no. Please, no. No, I have money, but but I have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsawa, yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. I don't like this quest. I feel I feel very uncomfortable doing this. Better be something somewhere. Very valuable, good. Not good yet. Uh, going to the other rooms, maybe. The longer I look, the madder I get. What do we got? Nothing in here. Nothing in the bedroom, perhaps. They've got like a little chest here. You must have come here with some. It's the interesting morality of Arthur Morgan. It's something that's. Yeah, Arthur Morgan's Don't morality is games. really interesting. Is he a good person? Is he a bad person? Is he beyond. The sort of basicness of the debate around what is good and evil. Is he an example of why discussing good and evil is inherently a flawed philosophical conversation? No, 
I apologize. Oh, no, I apologize no. for yes, my philosophizing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> There's not much else to do while we ramsack this poor fella's house other than philosophize about how much we are, how much evil we are committing here. Doesn't have much of value, does he? I mean, I don't think we've made up the money that Eo Strauss yet. Not even close. You got anything outside? I'm trying to figure out if he's like hidden something somewhere, if that's the point of this. Or if he is just some poor fella who doesn't have the funds to repay us. Are we supposed to check like his barn or something? We can have a look in the barn and see what's in there. But one would imagine it's just farm animals. Oh, a horse! If you kick me, I'll shoot you. There isn't any, there's nothing here. This per, this person has nothing of any value. Some horse stuff. Turn to the house. Loot the house. All right, all right. I'm looting the house. Jesus, this game really wants me to loot the house. There's a TV show in the United Kingdom called Can't Pay, We'll Take It Away, which is a show about bailiffs uh, collecting on defaulted payments of loans or tax or what have you and I always found the idea of the idea of turning that into entertainment kind of deeply uncomfortable hello knew there'd be something all the cartridges Armor rum, and we can't take any more of that item. Okay. Oh, he stood in front of something. Ah. She never took Prussians or Americans. Just keep quiet. Okay. That should about cover things. <sighs> Taking his wedding ring. Ugh. Right. After this, we're not doing any more missions for Strauss. Strauss can fucking... Strauss can just feck off. Why are we getting red? In this direction, what is it? What's over here? Well, there's a horse for a star. Multiple horses. Little skulls. Is something coming for us? Maybe. They, are those the the Pinkertons, the officers? I think they might be. We should get out of here. I hear shooting though, I think. Okay. When in doubt, run at the danger. Smartly. Oh, they're down here. 
down the cliff. Yeah, Pinkertons. Or bounty hunters. Whichever. Alright. Don't need to fight them, they're down a cliff. Not our problem anymore. I was concerned that they might come at us, but they're so far away. Could always go down and fight them, though. If we fancied a bit of combat, we could go down and fight them. Fancy a bit of a shootout? I fancy a bit of a shootout. Let's go have a shootout. I've lost my hat, which is deeply upsetting me. More than I can articulate. I'm very, very sad that we've lost our hat. So I'm wondering if killing these people might get us a hat. We tell our horse to wait. Stay. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, fuck off, no! What are you- Aim! It's just focusing on the horse! Focusing on the horse. Yeah, I think I think most people only lose one shooter. I think that's kind of how it works. Right, that I didn't like. Every time I, every time I tried to like zoom in, it focused on my injured horse, which was, for fuck's sake, which was less than ideal. But that is a hat, and therefore we we have been successful. There we go. Ooh, ooh, that is that is not a pretty face. Arthur, you need a bath. There we go, we can finally loot him. Horse medicine. Should we revive our horse? Or should we just steal one off these guys? Because we stole this horse anyway, didn't we? This isn't our horse. Oh, I feel really bad for that. That was the wrong decision to make. Like he's looking at me with judgment. What the fuck is wrong with this game and animals? I could slaughter so many animals in like Skyrim or something, but in Red Dead, it genuinely makes me feel bad. Well, at least we got a bit more money. I think all of their horses rode off, so killing that horse was actually really stupid. Our horse isn't too far away, thankfully, because we're not that far from the camp. We're actually only a short little walk away from camp. If we go swimming, does that make us get washed? No. I wonder how wet we are when we come out. Not super wet either. Got a herb. Pick and examine. Need to start walking more, because I can't pick the herbs while on my horse. I need to start walking more so I can pick all these plants. Now it's obviously means it will take longer to get places, but it also means we won't have a dead horse or a dying horse to focus our fucking aiming on. That was very frustrating. All right, let's run back to camp, pick up our actual horse, and then we can go find the other two debtors and 
hopefully we won't feel quite as terrible about robbing them. I don't know. <laughs> maybe the, uh, maybe, what is, what is the other mission we've got? Camp, we are going the wrong way. Why are we going this way? This is camp here, isn't it? Yeah. Hunting with Charles. Uh, it's not telling me what the other mission is. Apparently it'll only show me one at a time. That's fine. It's showing my horse as being in this direction. Alright, well, it doesn't matter. We're running to the horse, not to camp. Um, and then we'll head over to the other debtor. And we'll go back to camp. And hopefully the other mission we've got in camp will be good. What is you this? you got to help me out here, mister. Can you? Please. I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. Okay. So how'd you end up like this? Just shoot the damn chains already. Come on. Just shoot the chains off, please. I'm done. Oh, 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 yes. Yes. Perfect. Oh, uh, like, thank you. I don't trust this guy. I I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Some of those fellows talked about this old crone up north of Strawberry. Got herself a tidy sum locked away. Maybe just stories, but they were sure excited. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Mm, I don't just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. Okay, so we can do some home robbery, too. Yeah, we are not the hero, are we? We are, like, <laughs> full villain arc here. Uh, this is a cliff. That's a bridge. Handy. That's how one gets from one side of the cliff to the other. Bridges! And other technological marvels. <laughs> Yao is apparently only just discovering. Right. Horse. Dez. Let's go. You can speak to people in the area to find out where the debtor is. So we're arriving at our second location here. And it wants us to have a bit of a conversation with some people around the farm. Let's see if we can find out where the debtor is. Beatrick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey. All right, let's get him. You owe us money. Yeah. 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 What a lasso. Which I'm seeing. Starting to see how, like, integral that is to a lot of these gameplay elements. A lot of the chases and whatnot. Although, I wonder if we can shoot his horse out from under him. I wonder if that's a, a way of dealing with these people. So if I went like pistol. You make me go much further. I'll get more than a dead off you. Oh, don't that jump on the train. Worked. Damn it. Done that. Well, let's hope you got Oh no, I killed him. Oops. Well, this map better take me somewhere good or uh, I suppose there ain't much I can do. Certain inter items can be acted with by pressing <laughs> on them while in the satchel open the satchel by holding B. Okay. Recent, so we've got a treasure map. Okay, read. If something should happen to me, my worldly possessions are stored here. What the frig is this supposed to mean? Oh, I shouldn't have shot his horse. We've got a road with 
forked path. This road here, maybe? Because this is where he just was, and then there's a building there. Is that right? I don't know. There's only one way of finding out, isn't there? Let's ride over there and have a look. Oh, or is it this forked path with this building here? Well, I guess we're going to have to spend a while figuring this shit out. Oh. Oh, okay. Or it could just tell me. I guess it could just tell me where it is. That's kind of depressing. I got really excited that I was going to go on an actual treasure hunt then. Yep. Yep. So it turns out if you shoot the horse of a man riding at full gallop, and the man falls off and face plants a wooden post, he dies. Incredible, I know. It's a revelation to us all. None of us could have predicted that. Oops. There we go, we got his debt, who cares? I f yeah, I mean, that was bad. That was just, like, actual murder. Oh. I thought if we shot his horse, he'd fall off, and then we'd be able to get him, and we wouldn't need to lasso him. But, no, we just straight up killed him. Bugger. Now, honor's gone down. Is there any way of seeing where, seeing what our honor is? There must be a uh, there must be a menu somewhere where I can see that, like a character stats. Is there like a character sheet? I'd very much like to have access to that info. What are these dudes doing? They have guns drawn. I'm gonna like try and rob the train station or something, are they? Keep an eye on them. Out of the damn way. I'm just really curious what they're doing. Unless they're just traveling and they're being cautious with the gun drawn. They might just be traveling. I don't notice the bad stuff. Don't I know? Yeah, I think they're just traveling. Alright, never mind. Alright, let's see if we can find this third and final death. And hopefully. Oh, what a lovely place. Let's not murder anyone here, okay? This is a really pretty area. Let's not murder anyone. It'd be a really good start. Lily Millet, she's a ranch maid here. You know who she is? She's with Cooper over by the store. Okay, where's Cooper? Can we jump over this fence? Yar. Miss Millet, the ranch maid. You know where I can find her? Don't know. Cooper by the store. So where's the store? Ah, this is the store. Okay. Please don't make me kill anyone. Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week. And I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Ah, so someone owes me. her the money. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Hello. Your money's got to be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry, I don't have it right now. Well then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing. 
Except a lessening damn murder. Son of a bitch. My hat. You've done it now. Give me and my hat respect. There we go. Yep. You've got your money. Leave me alone. Hey, you know what I do to thieves? What do you Law want? Here about this. I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. Ain't my concern, no. Sir. Get back here. Hey, now, let's all take a minute here. Just shut up, damn it. Ah. You're about to get your face broke! Really? <laughs> this dude as Come well. On how to shoot, fella. I'm not trying to shoot you, you muppet. Whoa! <laughs> how do I lose honor for that? How? I am lawfully chasing my debt. Lawfully. He accuses me of theft. I chase him. We have a bit of a scuffle. He pulls a fucking gun and I lose honor. How does this system make any sense? Dick. Oh, watch, watch me lose honor for looting the attempted murderer now as well. All right, I didn't lose honor for that. Okay, that's good. I did lose honor for it! Ah! I am, I am one step away from just saying, fuck it, Arthur is now a cold-blooded murderer and just killing anyone who annoys me. Going full murder hobo. There's my hat. Because at the moment, oh, your doggy. Can I say hello to the doggy? Hello, boy. I can study the doggy. Oh, I can pat the doggy. No, 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 come here, come here. I want to pat you. Why is there no pat mechanic? We pat you. Australian Shepherd. I mean, it's not German Shepherd. There we go. Hey, boy. I got a good doggy. Can I get a dog later on? Oh, I might need to take a break and go give my dog a hug. That's so sweet. I watched a, a movie the other day with my wife called Love and Monsters, and that has a, a dog in it. It was a good movie. Any movie with a dog in it is a good movie. Come on, boy. Right. So, we've killed two people. Beaten one and taken another's wedding ring from him in the course of this mission. I think it's fairly safe to say that Arthur is just bad, really, at the moment. Well, like, we're just evil. Another bounty hunter. Can I hunt this deer, do you think? I think we can cavalry archer hunt this deer. Apparently. Apparently not. Why have I got my knife out? Since we're going back to camp anyway, we might as well get the deer. No, Ozzy, come here. I think that's what I should start doing. Every time we're going back to camp, 
Every time we go back to camp, we should uh, start bringing a deer with us, or at least some skins. That way we can start building up the camp supplies and whatnot. And that should be... It should kill two birds with one stone. We should be able to build up the camp supplies every time we're just already headed back to camp, basically. So we're going to ride back to camp now and probably spend the night since it's starting to get a bit dark. And then we'll see what the other mission... Was it with Leon? We'll see what the other mission is in the morning. And we'll talk to Strauss in the morning as well. Finish this debtor's mission. We'll see how, how much trouble we're in with Strauss for... For shooting that one fella. Good morning, Arthur. Rise and shine. Let's donate this. These debts to the box. I think he's over here. Yeah, it's here. Give all debts. Let's see how much money we give to the box now. Oh, so we get a share as well. Use the ledger to purchase a camp upgrade. Ledger. Okay, let's have a look. So what is this? Next page. Ah! Strauss's medicine wagon. Increase total supplies including snake oil to restore. Includes snake oil to restore dead eye and bitters to restore stamina. Lodging. Arthur's munition. Or station. Why can't I? I can't move through them for some reason. Oh, there we go. So we've got it what yeah there's the lodging upgrades dutch's lodgings encourages others to donate first thing first dutch wants something comfier well fuck dutch i don't give a shit what dutch wants right Repeater ammo and arrows. Leather working tools. Gain access to extra crafting options. Some local farms are selling off chickens. Buy a chicken coop. I don't think any of these are like super important things right this second. So that's kind of good. But can we can we get out? I don't think it'll let me leave until I purchase something. Alright, let's purchase improved munitions then. Quality and quantity of munitions available at Arthur's tent has improved. You can pay to resupply munitions when stocks are low. Yes. Have more bullets. Always have more bullets. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? There we go. Oh, Alright, yeah. we had uh, to do it, yeah. Our accounts are up to date. Sad sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Oh, so we still have some more stuff for Strauss. Ah, and that's getting information about the O'Driscolls. Right, let's do this last debt, and then we'll get some information about the O'Driscolls, and we can hopefully go to war with them again. What was that thing over here? What's this? Oh, it's the wildlife photographer! Awesome! He shows up again. And we can hunt him down and take pictures with him. Horse won't follow you if you're in camp. So if I leave camp, is this an easier way of getting my horse? If I go to here and then whistle, will it always come? Yeah, that's handy. Right, 
At least it doesn't take. It takes way too long to get here. Let's see. Get our rifle out. So we're gonna go after a preacher farmer do-gooder type who's apparently very slippery and has been avoiding Strauss's effort to reclaim his money. Interesting. I wonder if... I mean, this guy surely isn't gonna put up a fight, is he? A preacher farmer who's a do-gooder is hardly gonna draw his pistol on me. But... Mm, Why do I feel like you're robbing me? Where's my horse going? I got bit. Oh God! Snake bite. I need medicine or a siphon. Here, bring this. Oh, oh, oh! Medicine. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. You saved my life. I owe you. Is that my honor there? I do. Oh. Oh. Now I, I gotta get out of here. No! Oh. God! Oh. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Right. So that makes sense if that's my honor bar. Because it flashed up when we did the bounty as well. How do we affect it then? I kind of want to be honourable. I like being good. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm a Paragon player, not a Renegade player. For you Mass Effect heads out there, you few people with good taste. <laughs> but I I don't know how to bring up the bar. I want to see my progress. Uh, there must be a way of bringing it up though. But I suppose if doing bounties gets us money, which it does, and honour, which it does then our honor should go up, because we like money, so we'll be doing every bounty we see. Although I wonder if bringing them in dead or alive makes a difference to whether or not we get honor from the mission. It would make sense if just shooting them and bringing them in dead doesn't give us honor. Hmm, interesting. Right, I'm hoping this is a little bit different. I'm hoping we've got maybe Something going on here. Downs. Huh. You shoot the door open? Oh, Mr. Downs! Thomas Downs! I don't think he's here. Downs! Where are you? Uh, whatever do you want? <laughs> oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Oh. Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Ah, oh, we're gonna have to beat him a little bit by the look of it. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Please, please. Okay, we just have to punch him a few we times. Took so. your word. Now we'll take your hat. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money!
How are these people going to pay if they owe that much? What's going on here? Why are we now riding off? I'm confused. Unless something's going to happen. Or is Arthur doing a bit of soul searching? Is it taking us right back to camp? It's taking us right back to camp. I must admit, I'm a little bit lost about where this storyline with this debt is going here. I'm also a bit lost about where Arthur was going there, but you know. Do we get the ability to tell Strauss to leave them be? Like, come on. I really hope we do get that. <laughs> I, I know, I know, they borrowed the money, they should pay it back. I know all of that, but if they physically can't, then they can't. Beating them isn't going to help. Shooting them isn't going to help. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Is that it? So, so what? Can we not go, can we go back and like help them? Can we tell Strauss to, I don't, I don't know what we do here. Is that it? Is it just over for them? F1. Arthur attempts to reclaim the debt. Complete within two minutes and ten seconds. Jesus. Alright. I'm not speed running this. I want to I want to stop and smell the grass. And we stopped and saved that guy's life, so yeah, we're not gonna be doing missions in two minutes and twelve seconds at all. What is this H on the map? Ah, okay, Horsey's over there, down in Emerald Ranch. Horsey, I'm just gonna call him Horsey from now on. Right, let's see if we can get Kieran to give us some information about the O'Driscolls, because that was far too emotionally complicated, and honestly, I'd just like to shoot some bad guys now. My arms is gonna fall off. Speak! Don't cry, boy, speak! About your gang. <laughs> I can't. Why? Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on. Ah, uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, no, you kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none take it. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. 
All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go shoot some O'Driscolls. Both hope you ain't to Throwing knife. Hold F1 for details. Favorite weapon ranking 9 out of 3. A small knife with a straight blade designed and balanced so it can be thrown with ease. Can be used to silently take down enemies at range or used as a melee weapon if required. It can be purchased from some less than reputable sellers or save a trip by recollecting the knife after throwing. I love what video games have done for throwing knives. They've turned them into this like silent assassination tool that one hits people. You throw a knife at someone, it's, no old it's not that great. Are you sure as shit was? John, Bill, come here. I spent a summer so teaching so myself to throw knives me. once because I was a edgy, at? sad little teenager. Uh, up into the hills <laughs> they're, not, they're not as dangerous as games make them look. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respect. Aren't your horse, uh... You take that's what he says. You go get my horse. My horse is over here. Taking you to him. Look, I'll, I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where. But where are my throwing knives then? We are. It's up past Valentine. All right. Hold I can't, you can't access my weapons while we're in camp. Of you. Go off. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and. You smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like <laughs> horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity <laughs> comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey. Let's have a look. So we've got. Throwing knives there and our rifle there. Okay. Uh, we won't bother with the bow. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. But we're gonna want our pistol for most of it. Ah, I'm sorry it wouldn't kill you. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. <laughs> hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well... When you was having a failure of reason, and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you, if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Ah, uh, is John the one who left for a while? You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies. When you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Right. Wondering how many Adriscals we're gonna have. I think the com the combat isn't too difficult. And I think even if there's quite a lot of them, we should be fine. Those are the hills, head for them. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. Oh, dangerous thing say? to say. I've been watching you all these weeks, and uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... That's <laughs> fair. Then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... 
Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. I feel like, uh, boy's got more done. wisdom than anyone else we've met so far. Who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's hair, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set the... Okay, so... Off. Knife, then. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. It's quite intense, the build-up to this confrontation, actually. I think it's it. The game's done build up really well. The game's done hey, we're real close. setting scenes your the other very side well. I'll get my guns off my horse and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. It's like throwing, it's like throwing. Yes, we've got our throw. We got our bow. We've got our throwing knives. We got our rifle just in case, and we got our pistol. Yeah, nice. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I s Dad, easy. Whoa. Okay, that's quite a cool Follow little me, animation. Right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. I like Kieran. I hope Kieran stays with us. But you lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey. There, there, you see? I don't see anything, Kieran. Oh, I see a house. Okay. Get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you strangers? Yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Yeah, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, It'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. Right, how do we take out three silent the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. He's yours, Williamson. Okay. I got him. Let's see. Go on, Bill. Bill takes him, and then we get these two. Morgan, the next two. What's the plan? The sooner we get this over with. Keep back where they won't hear us. When I move, you move. Take them out in distance. I can do that. Nice. We're moving on the camp. I left our guide up there. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Let's Arthur, see. Feather on the log. What are we doing about him? This one's mine. We need it done right. Go on and show us then. Yeah, I better I better get it right after saying that. Okay. Now what? We're at the perimeter. Wait on my mark. I'm gonna take a look at these boys. Sure thing. See how many we can take out silently, shall we? So we've got one just here. Uh, 
All right. Well, we failed that miserably, didn't we? Get to cover, get to cover, get to cover. Let's do this. Don't run away from me! Come on, Where are you? Come on! 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 I think we're fine at the moment, actually. None of them get out of here. We catch you on a wash. There we go. Ah, a wood for. That's it. They're counterattack. Nice. Combs still here. All right, let's see if Combs in this in cabin. cabin. You all look out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not calm, is it? <laughs> you all right? Sure. There we go, Kieran. <sighs> Calm old Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Calm old Driscoll ain't here. He was here. I swear. I swear. I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. It is a good point. Come on. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. Get lost. Get lost. I'm letting you run away. Now go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> Let him join. So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. There we go, we get our opportunity to go yeah, looting. so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. Yeah, right you are. Oh, I like Kieran a lot. He's He's got some wisdom to him. Very meta, his, uh... Drop repeated carbine for double barrel shotgun. That's kind of cool. Okay, but can I search this chimney now? How do I search the chimney? Cleaning weapons with gun oil. Maintain. Ah! Oh, that's kind of cool. Clean the double barrel shotgun. All right, so this is it teaching us how to clean the guns. Beautiful. Oh, it's so nice that we can look at it like this as well. Oh. Search the chimney. Search chimney. Let's have a look. At least you got something tucked away. Six hundred dollars. I'm not gonna be allowed to keep that though, am I? Gang share three hundred. Your share one hundred. Wait, so was it four hundred or six hundred? Or am I just silly? dollar all right we're gonna loot this place and loot all the bodies out there and then we'll head back to camp 
Let's just take everything we can find here first, though. So, I will see you back at camp. Hopefully a little bit richer. And hopefully with a nice stock of all our healing supplies and whatnot. And actually, that's a good idea. We should probably eat this and recover our dead eye and um, stamina. We should probably eat something to recover our dead eye and stamina. This should do it. There we go. Nice. Right, let's get looting. Another bounty poster has appeared. So that means we can maybe go after another man. I want to see if this is a dead or alive one, or just dead. I am looking for a bounty partner. There's a go. There you go. That's my one cowboy accent that I'll do this entire playthrough, I promise. Right. looks like trouble, alright. Reward of $25 dues will be paid for the arrest of Ellie Ann Swan, wanted for the crime of matricide. He killed her mommy. The above amount will be paid immediately for the delivery of the prisoner wanted alive for questioning. Known as the Black Widow, she has been seen. Why is she the Black Widow if she killed her mother? Or is mattress? No, matricide is killing one's mother, because patricide is killing one's father. I believe. I don't know if there's a word for killing one's spouse. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Just a quick note in post-production. Matricide is the act of killing one's mother. Mariticide, or mariticide, is the act of killing one's spouse. Now, you can properly identify the crimes you've committed. You're welcome. We've been seen in Cumberland Falls with an unknown male who may be manipulating her. All information or reward claims to be addressed to Sheriff C. Mallory, Valentine Sheriff's Office. So we might... That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping well. We might have a bit of a shootout going on here. Potentially, depending on who this gentleman she's sleeping with is. Is this Cumberland Falls? This is Cumberland Falls. Eleni Ann Swan. We're going to head over here. We're going to see if we can get ourselves $25 for taking her in alive. And we're going to see if the gentleman she's with will put up a fight or what. I, I wonder if any of the... Uh, your horse is dirty, this will cause the health card to drain faster. Okay. I wonder if any of the bounties have, like, more story to them. Let's check we're going the right way. We, uh, we can kind of go across country. Yeah, it's fine. So by that, what I mean by that is... This, this woman is wanted alive for questioning. I want to know if any of the bounties, or I'm wondering, or accurately, I'm wondering if any of the bounties go anywhere with this whole wanted for questioning thing. Like, are there any mini storylines? So Ellie Ann Swan is currently wanted for questioning the matricide. But if we bring her in and she's questioned, hey, do we, if, what if there's like more information found out? You okay? Is this dude okay? I just don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. Uh -uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. Smell it on you. <laughs> okay. Well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here, well away from them. They come for me, but I'm watching. Yeah. I, I never sleep. I never do. That's not good for you. Get a good night's sleep, people. You, are you, you're obviously so not okay, but clearly you don't have anything for me, which is cool, you know. Interesting characters don't always have to have jobs for the protagonist. That's not how the real world works. Okay, boy. 
Yeah, so what I was wondering is if, for example, this Eliane Swan person, if we take her in for questioning, she's alive, we bring her in, they question her, is it possible for them for there to be a follow-up to that? Because that would be a really interesting cool bit of storytelling if, like, Eliane Swan is found to not have killed her mother and the questioning points you towards another bounty. I know that probably isn't a thing, but I think I would really enjoy that. I think that would be such a nice natural feeling way of telling stories too. Oh my god, there's so many random people. I just want to be left alone, all right? I'm, I'm not going to leave you alone. A sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Or am I going to strutting around? Nose in the air. Holding hands with that dumb. Hold on, kid. You care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. Yeah? I've been waiting. Oh no, are we giving dating advice to some poor teenager? Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. Did we just get honor for encouraging him to be a nice guy? Oh, I don't know. Let's let's move on from that interaction. That can never end well. I am wanted for a bounty of $80 in this region. Can I pay off my bounty? Is it worth paying off my bounty? I don't have a lot of money. Ellie Ann Swan, she is wanted alive. Right. Where is she? Let's see if we can find her. Yep. Shouldn't be too difficult. There are two of them. Yeah. She's with a guy. Guy is not wanted alive. <laughs> so. Ah! Pony! Are you okay? You're okay, good. Right, I'm, I'm gonna do this on foot, Pony, because... I'm wondering if they're like up on this cliff top or something. No. It could be down by the coast, by the riverbed, the riverbank. Could be over here or under this like, sort of like cove thing here. There's supposed to be two of them. They're supposed to be camped out here. It shouldn't be too difficult to find, but clearly I'm blind. Wonderful. Is my horse okay? Why is my horse flashing? The horse is fine. Penny. Penny's fine. Yeah, Penny's fine. Alright. Yeah. Let's see, are they down by the river? Ooh, don't run off the cliff, Penny. There, there, there. Right, so we'll want pistol for the man. There's a bounty hunter. Get him! Don't do this, boy. Ellie, I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna make. Shit! I don't have my lasso. What kind of men are you? You need stabbing little. Oh, you men are you. I don't have my lasso, and she's very angry. Yeah. Love, don't do this. Oh, I could have saved the boy if I'd had my lasso. Damn you. Help me. Someone I'm being chased. Really? I can't aim for shit with this thing. I got a madman after me. There we go. What an evil woman. You are a piece of work. Now, 
Come in. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. I'm gonna loot you. What you got for me, girl? So, what you got for me? <laughs> 20 cents and some silver earrings. Don't you manhandle me? <clears throat> I feel really bad that we didn't manage to save that kid. He was clearly just wrong place, wrong time with a not to be trusted person. But I do wonder if there's going to be some interactions due to this being a woman. And what I mean by that is, if you see a man carrying another man, most people are less likely in to intervene than if they see a, a man carrying a woman. So when we're riding around with that uh, con man, and she says, oh, and, and he's calling for help, and Arthur says, yeah, he's a criminal, people are going to believe that. But we're riding around with a woman tied to the back of our horse. One could expect there to be a more skeptical reaction to the legality of our Settle kidnapping in. here. You got right Do you get what I'm trying you. to say? I'm very impressed that she manages to balance that. Well, yeah, that she's managing to oh, balance. Dear. I feel bad for her if she's just not well. She could just be evil and pretending to be all innocent, but she might actually not be well. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I I I've done bad things, but a jail. A jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please? Save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from myself. Is that something we have the option to do? I can't see I can't see us having the option to take her to a sanatorium. Which is a bit of a shame. That would You're have been a, a really man. Oh no, okay, now she's just trying so to do the flirt. It would have been a really cool option if we could Maybe take these people to like you, uh I wouldn't be in this sanatoriums My rather than folk, to jail. Me. But my problem's been how I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight, wouldn't you, Mister? Okay, now that she's going down the whole seductress route, I am less inclined to believe her claims of illness and insanity than I was previously. Now, yeah, now I'm leaning more towards her just being an actual I hate criminal. You, there we you go. Sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut your belly open and show you your cuts. Oh dang, woman! That's a bit mean. Bounty hunt, nobody. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Ah, I wish you die. I think it might be you who ends up dying. Ah. Yeah, we can all do that. Don't stab people. It's not difficult. We've had some discussions about morality so far. But this isn't one of them. Just get me there. You're no fun at all. Yeah. She tried every trick in the book there. That's maybe what she did. Can our horse just stop shitting? That seems to be this character just, you know, trying different manipulation tactics to get you to. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? That we did. There we go. Put her in the cell, won't you? I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another fella out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. Give me my money. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. <laughs> well, that's cowboys for you. Indeed. 
All right. So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Oh. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Let me out to exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. <laughs> it's so boring in here. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. And to think you were sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. You are, Sheriff. Me, Sheriff. I know your secrets. Ooh, 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 and ooh. I could spread them all over. Like Miss Moria? Don't you dare mention Mora again. Now hush. <laughs> oh. Show me some sympathy, Sheriff. All right. I'm let's leave now. A poor little widow. So does that mean the sheriff isn't going to have bounties for us for a while then? But at least you respected the sanctity of marriage. Cuz he said something about not posting bounties and just guarding the town for a while. So I wonder if that means we're not going to have any bounties for a while. That's a shame cuz those bounties have actually been really enjoyable to do. So that is where we're going to end for today. We've accomplished a couple of bounties. Arthur is looking very scruffy right now. Yeah, we've accomplished a few bounties. We've done two quests for our little camp, uh, including finally getting Kieran off that tree, the poor fella, taking the fight to the O'Driscolls somewhat, and we need to get around this train. And collecting some money and figuring out how to clean guns yeah. and upgrade our camp a little bit. So I think that's a good amount of progress. As usual, it's been a great time. This game is just incredible. The characters, the complexity of it, it's just brilliant. It really is. At the moment, full 10 out of 10. Having a great time. So I hope you'll join me next time. Thank you very much for watching. And toodles.